A 43-year-old man, his name David J. Smith from Tennessee, has been arrested for allegedly threatening to kill his ex-girlfriend. David J. Smith confronted his ex-girlfriend with a samurai sword in front of their son. The ex-girlfriend's brother tried to intervene to try to break up this argument, at which point David J. Smith shot his ex-girlfriend's brother in the head. We don't have a full status report of the victim's condition at this point. His name is Trevor Bennett, but we do understand that he is believed to have survived the gunshot wound to the head let's hope and pray that it remains the case that he does pull through and is able to recover hopefully without any lifelong injuries so the shooter david j smith has been taken into custody he's been charged with one count of first degree attempted murder two counts of aggravated assault as well as one count of aggravated burglary we're told that chattanooga police department responded to a 911 call in the early hours of last sunday in regards to shots being fired at a residence in hickson tennessee once there first responders found Trevor Bennett, the ex-girlfriend's brother, lying in the driveway and he wasn't moving. Emergency medical personnel rushed Trevor to hospital via ambulance and again, as far as we understand, he has survived but we're not told of his full condition. We're told that the victim's sister, the ex-girlfriend, told investigators that the shooter, David J. Smith, showed up at her home uninvited at around 3 a.m. Sunday morning. He appeared to be drunk and this was very concerning for the ex-girlfriend. The shooter left the residence but he returned back later at which point he had a samurai sword with him he once again confronted his ex-girlfriend the encounter quickly became violent when the psychopathic shooter david j smith accused the ex-girlfriend of cheating on him and sleeping with other men the psychopath grabbed his ex-girlfriend by the throat he then said that if she's not going to be with him she's not going to be with anyone so i would say he threatened her life whilst holding a samurai sword not good the ex-girlfriend screamed for her life. Her brother answered the call. He came up the stairs holding a handgun and he confronted David J. Smith, the ex-boyfriend again. David J. Smith is holding a samurai sword. We're told an argument ensued. David J. Smith's and the ex-girlfriend's child walked into the room to see what the heck was going on, at which point David J. Smith threw his ex-girlfriend to the floor. There was a further fight, a further scuffle, fully in front of the child. We're told that the ex-girlfriend's brother pushed David J. Smith out of the room, out of the home, and the child saw David J. Smith shoot Trevor Bennett in the head. So we're told that David J. Smith fled the scene, but he was caught shortly thereafter. He's in county jail with a bail set at $150,000, and I'm going to say that I don't understand why it's not higher. This is somebody who's shot somebody else in the head. Why do you need to have him on the streets? $150,000 is a lot of money, sure, but to post bail, you need approximately 10, perhaps 20% of that amount. Perhaps the shooter has that in a bank account. Perhaps his family and friends do. Why would you offer him the opportunity to walk back on the streets? Makes no sense to me. So again, we're told that the shooting victim, Trevor Bennett, the brother of the ex-girlfriend, is still alive. Let's hope and pray that remains to be the case. We're not told of any injuries sustained by the ex-girlfriend, so we're presuming that she's okay. But of course, her and her son have gone through an extremely traumatic event. Her brother being shot in the head. Again, hopefully he survives. One blessing is that the scumbag shooter has been caught. He is in custody. The bail is too low, in my opinion, but let's hope he remains behind bars. I would imagine that the investigation will go ahead without great issue. There's witnesses here. It seems like a clear-cut case to me. I can only imagine that he will be found guilty of at least attempted murder, and with that, he ought to be locked up for a very long time. I don't have too much more to say. We could point to gun control. Again, another gun was involved. Again, it may have ended in taking a life let's hope that isn't the case but what would drive somebody to attack their ex-partner the mother of their son the mother of their child what would drive somebody to attack the mother of their child with a samurai sword i've got to mention mental illness because that's obviously not a rational reasonable response if you're upset because you believe that your ex-partner cheated on you then be upset vocalize it use your words don't use your fists don't try to strangle somebody don't start an altercation at someone's home at 3 a.m in the morning uninvited don't return with a weapon with a samurai sword don't get in a fight with somebody that's trying to de-escalate the situation and don't shoot anybody in the head yet all of these things happened and i've got to think that mental illness is at least partially at play the shooter david j smith had no self-control he's emotional he's upset he's drunk and perhaps that's exacerbated things but even so control yourself you're a grown adult how can you allow yourself to go 
to these ridiculous lengths, these extremely violent lengths? Am I wrong to point to mental illness? Is this just a factor of humans? Is this just how we are, how we've been raised? We can become extremely violent if we become angry enough. Is that how it is? Maybe. So with that, I'm going to remind myself that alcohol is quite the poison. It can diminish our self-control significantly. It can increase our emotions significantly. We're not told of the criminal history, the mental health history, or the relationship with drug or alcohol that the shooter has. Perhaps that's relevant information. But really, that's all the information that we do have at this point. So I'm going to wrap things up. If you appreciate the coverage, please do like, comment, subscribe, share the video as you see fit. If you're in a position to join memberships, please do consider doing that. Uh, but of course, it's fine if you don't. So I'm going to wrap things up. Thank you for your time. Take care.